Hi folks, Instructional Coordinator Adrian at Coronado Historic Site in Bernalillo, New Mexico. Today as part of our ongoing series highlighting the native plants of Coronado Historic Site and the Rio Grande Valley, I am going to introduce you to a new plant. This is Hairy False Golden Aster. It is a member of the Aster family and is native to all the Western and Great Plains states. Its scientific name is Heterotheca villosa. The genus name Heterotheca comes from the Greek hetero and theca, meaning different case, referring to the unusual fact that this plant produces two different shaped seeds. The species name villosa means covered with soft hairs referring to the hair covered stems. The plant was first classified by Frederick Traugott Persch, a German American botanist who wrote a systematic arrangement and description of the plants of North America and was the botanist who cataloged and described the plants brought back by the Lewis and Clark expedition. There are seven varieties of this plant in New Mexico, including this one. It is very drought tolerant and likes to grow in open and disturbed areas along rocky hillsides, roadsides, and in semi-desert areas, foothills, and mountains. Hairy false golden aster grows in bushy clumps up to three feet tall and several feet in diameter. It has dozens of stems topped with bright yellow flowers that consist of 10 to 20 petals or rays and a center of 20 to 50 orange brown disc florets. The gray green leaves are narrow oblongs covered in rough whitish hairs. Butterflies love this plant, but interestingly, deer avoid it. Traditionally, it was consumed by some Native American groups. A decoction was made from the tops and stems and used as a medicine to soothe, quiet, and aid in sleeping. So there you have it, folks. Hairy, false, golden aster, native plant at Coronado Historic Site and the Rio Grande Valley. Thanks so much for watching.